Hi, it's Matt from Shoutout and welcome to another episode of Shoutout Weekly. Last Monday I was in London invited for an interview on the Crowd Channel Live show. I explained how Shoutout can help even amateur photographers earn money on their passion and how by using social proof from our photo contest we aim to make photos more sellable. I answered some great questions about the business, about the idea itself and also we talked about the equity crowdfunding campaign on Cedars. If you want to learn more now, I invite you to watch the whole material. We're now joined by Matt Kwadnitsky, the CEO of Shutout. Thank you for joining us today, Matt. Thank you for having me here. Thank you. So um, tell us a little bit about your hockey experience. <laughs> uh, hockey, okay. So <laughs> yeah, I was playing field hockey in my mm -hmm. uh, like primary school and high school a little bit. Yeah. So we, we, we get some uh, medals. We, 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 we won championship of Poland. Like I was at the age of 15, I believe something yeah. like this so it was really nice experience i wish i i, I could be like more sport into sports right now probably but it's business now <laughs> and i do want to mention that something else because i think this is very impressive you, you spent one and a half years driving as an uber driver to yeah. help fund your dream of of shut out yeah how, how was that because they're ipoing uh, that was there? also a great experience to be yeah. honest uh, first, I started this as, as just just to try it out and to talk with people who, who uses mm -hmm. Uber as a service to just learn how how they as you know Uber uh, makes this business because this is like a learning experience. But at the same time, I needed money to, to make a living before shout out you know started from the ground. Uh, so that was a great experience. It's it lasted a little bit longer than I I would expect. But at the end of the, this experience, I, I, I've managed to to found an investor and we just. Focused and shut out 100%. From Did you the find holiday. them in the back of the Uber cab, or <laughs> no? But it was quite close. Like the main reason that he he said me after 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 we talked that the main reason that he invested is that the experience with Uber. That he said that mm -hmm. I was so so uh, you know focused and so uh, I, I just I, I would do anything to to make this happen. So you know. Paul, have you got any questions to start? Congratulations on what you've built already. Mm. It Thank you. Like it's going really well. Um, I guess the whole journey for everybody starts with the, with these contests. How can you just explain a little bit more about how how they work? Why why do people enter them, and mm -hmm. how often do you run them? And was, yeah, yeah. The the, ba the basic idea was that this is all all this is community driven. So people create their own contests. Of course, we as a platform create contests too, but people can create their own contests, mm. and everyone has an option to enter any contest for free or with this premium entry for two dollars. So they themed these contests, or yeah, if, you know, if you get an idea for a contest for like I don't know, dogs, cats, anything, you can just create it, just make the description, launch it, and people can join. Okay, and the winner of the contest gets a prize, or they just get to know that they're the winner and everybody. It, likes it depends what option they, they they choose. If they enter for free, they. They, the, uh, the free entry is for, for them to just test themselves, their, to test their skill, to rank their photos with all those photographers. But if they are, uh, believe that their photos are good enough, they can enter with this premium entry and then they fight for the money prize. And how it works is also very simple. The, every pr pr premium entry raises the money price $1. So like 50% goes to shadow, 50% goes to the, to the, to the money uh, price. Yeah. And who do people vote? Do other people vote? Yeah, also, like, this is a community base, so all votes are, are based by the community, so everyone who is registered on the platform vote. So that's why we also learn what they, what they really like and wh where are they from, so this is connected. And then the next step is to take that onto this marketplace where you'll be yes. selling the products. So who then owns the copyright for all the images that are being uploaded? Uh, at this moment, uh, all rights, uh, you know, all, all photographers keep their rights. Because we, we, we know that photographers are very uh, careful about the rights to their photos. Uh, so when, when we launch the marketplace solution, of course, they will have the option to join it and to license our, you know, so we could sell their photos on their behalf mm -hmm. with, with, of course, the, the revenue share or, or not. It's, it's their choice if they want to monetize their photos. Um, you mentioned um, in your pitch that some photos have more monetization value yeah. than others. What, what are they? Yeah, it, this is this is what we believe because sometimes people uh, or, or companies try to find the, what what is a good photo, 
And we, our approach is a little bit different because from the monetization perspective, it's more important how many people like photo because sometimes experts you know, can say that this photo is, isn't very good. But if like million people like this photo, it can sell. So our, our, we, we believe that we can use this data to help people sell photos. Uh, and the, with, the, with the idea of the big data, is very important because some photos are likable in different regions of the world because of, of the culture, of different you know, uh, beauty aspects and stuff like this. And we will have that knowledge on our platform. So you know, if, if a company wants to create a, a campaign using some photos on a different markets, we will be able to provide them with photos that will resonate on those markets the best. So it's good data for advertisers then as well? Of, of course, yeah. yeah. And what makes you different from the other stock photography platforms out there? Pro probably this is this is this is it. Like mm -hmm. the we on on other photography platforms, uh, stock stock platforms, uh, the you know marketing agencies just pick photos they like, pick, pick photos because this they think that this fits their their campaign, and of course this will be able this will be also a thing on our platform. But we will be able to provide them information. Okay, you want to, to create a campaign for this and this in, for example, UK or, or anywhere, and we will be able to show you the photos that you know, people from this region voted most. Right. And this is like a big, big, big difference for, for marketing purposes. And so in terms of your community, are you targeting kind of professional photographers at the moment, or are you targeting amateurs as well? And Most the amateur photographers, to be honest, because at this moment, we, we started with this idea of photo contests. And photo contests are more appealing to amateurs because they want to test themselves. Professionals earn their money somewhere else. But with scale, we believe that we will be able to attract those professionals if we can show them that they will be able to share their work, work uh, you know, better than on other platforms. And we believe that this will happen with the, with the social proof from, so, from photo contests. But would you be exclusive with your mm. project? I would say that if if someone will will have the choice to upload their photos on one one platform and the other, and from our platform will sell like two times better, the, the choice is theirs. So they, they will have to, they will they will decide. It's, it's not about the exclusivity. Yeah. Matt, great idea. Thank you very much for Thank coming you. on this evening. Thank you very much. That's all we've got time for. <laughs> if you'd like to find out more about Shutout, you can do so on Cedar's website. That's cedars.com. That was a great experience. I hope that you've enjoyed watching it too. And please let us know in the comments what do you think about the idea and our future plans. Until next week, see you on Shoutout.